Training flight Zulu Bravo 19er, this is Tower. Tower, this is 19er, go ahead. We're gonna have you come back in. We're getting reports a civilian aircraft may have wandered into your sector. We're gonna see if we can't run him off. Report your training exercise and report back to base immediately. Roger that, Tower. This is team leader. You heard him. I think that'll do it for today. Let's head on home. Roger that, sir. You guys whipped us pretty good today. Like the song says, Martinez, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> Didn't know you were into show tunes, sir. I guess you'll be one guy I won't have to worry about sneaking in my tent at night. <laughs> you'll pay for that one, Martinez. <laughs> promises, promises, sir. Well, I would watch out for the water, but somebody has their hands over my eyes. You gotta trust me, Daddy. Oh, trust you? Last time I trusted you, I had to buy a new pair of shoes. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, huh? You think that's... Oh, why do you, you think that's funny? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> a sea monster. A sea monster, a sea monster. Where? Oh, no. You tricked me. Got <laughs> Hey, come here. Bailey, Bailey, stop, stop. 
We've got to get going. No! Yes. Come, come on, your mother will kill me if you miss your plane. What's the matter? Hmm? I don't want to go to New York. Really? Don't you want to see Grandma? No. I hate it when she pinches my cheeks. Pinch her back. Always works for me. <laughs> <laughs> But aren't you Jordan McNamara? Yeah, well, guilty. Oh, oh, see, Stanley, I told you. Yeah, yeah. That's my husband, Stanley. He didn't believe me. You should know better. <laughs> you know, I just, I have to tell you that State of the Nation is one of our favorite programs. We never miss it. Thank you very much. And I've been watching you since you were just a reporter, and now you have your own show and all. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um. Would you mind? An autograph, no. Terribly? Oh, no. Well, who said anything about an autograph? <laughs> Stanley, could you come over here and take a picture of me and Jordan? Yeah, yeah. So, is that your little girl? Yes, this is, uh, this is Bailey. Bailey, say hi. Hi. You talk funny. Bailey. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? Marge, what's wrong with the flag? Okay, I think I got it now. Let's see. Okay, scooch <laughs> in. Say TV. So, did you ever find out what happened to that poor soldier, that Captain England? Edelin. Edelin, no. Uh, still working on that one. Oh, well, I, I hope that you do because that was just horrible. going to hell in a handbasket. Will you take the picture already? So you got any plans to come to Akron? No, no. Not at the moment, but... Oh, well, if you ever do. <laughs> All right, Stanley. Okay. So, thank you. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Boy, I'm going to be the envy of all my girlfriends. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Are you in position? Yes. Well, I got the target spotted. He's about 20 meters south of me. Track with me now. I'm moving towards him. Walk right by. He's white male, gray hair, approximately 45 years old, wearing a brown jacket. Got him. Say goodbye to the ocean, okay? And we've got to go. Okay? He's clear. Take the shot. You lost your fucking mind. Take the shot. He's a reporter for Christ's sakes. You will take the shot. That's an order. Do you copy?
Dalton. Dad, look, the sand. What, what about it, sweetheart? Something's under the sand, right next to that man. Uh, maybe it's a sea monster, huh? Maybe you should warn the nice man. <laughs> Suddenly she's shy. Yeah, mine are the same way. Have a good one. You do the same. <laughs> the dog won't hunt. Put him to sleep. sign in. Be here, man? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna make a quick round. Do me a favor and uh, keep an eye on the door, okay? No problem. Thanks. This is Ron at 701 Ocean. I need the cops out here now. I got a dead guy up on the roof. He's got a gun. Come back, a dead what? A dead guy, as in not breathing anymore? With a gun, as in what I'm gonna shoot your ass with a deal. Get somebody out here now! Are you all right? This man, he just came out of nowhere and he killed us two men there. Okay, okay, we need to get you out of here, okay? We need I don't to get out of here, right? This is gonna kill okay, everybody, okay, I'm, afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Come with me, it's all right. The police will be here any second, all right? Sam has reports.
Murdoch. Murdoch, report. Murdoch, Samuels, report. You guys hear me or what? Security just put in a 911 call. Locals are on their way. SWAT team, the whole deal. Media will probably beat them there. Little bitch. Let's get the hell out of here. Give me that phone. We could still do a sweep for her. She's not even in the same zip code anymore. Yeah, this is Dalton. We're coming in. Identify yourself. It's me. Well, that narrows it down some, don't it? You're gonna have to do better than that. God damn it, Marcus. I don't have time for this. Just let me in or I'm gonna fucking kill you. Hey, girl, you should have just started out with all those curse words. Then I would have known it was you right off. Marcus. Okay, okay. <laughs> About two days early. Two days late, depending on how you look at it. Oh, look at you! Rough day at the office? I guess so. What's wrong? Oh. What's up? I need your help. Ah, oh, see, and here I thought you finally came to your senses and decided to seduce a brother. What do you need? I need an address. It's not a problem. Let's just uh, take a little trip to the DMV. You gonna tell me what happened? They tried to kill me this morning. See, that's management for you. Always trying to fire you before you can quit on them. It's a good thing we put together that severance package, huh? You got a name for me? Jordan McNamara. Jordan McNamara. Jordan. That name sounds familiar, but I don't know where from. Yeah, he was on that uh, new show, Stay the Nation. Oh, right. I don't watch very much TV. You kidding, ever? Uh, you know, I find TV to be very educational. The minute somebody turns it on, I go to the library and read a good book. Groucho Marx. Welcome to the Department of Motor Vehicles. That's him? You're fucking fabulous. Yeah, I know. So, how do we know him? He was my target this morning. Yeah. Okay. Famous, rich, handsome. That's the reason to kill him right there. Another job well done, Mr. Dalton. Four of our operatives down. A veritable media circus. And the local police have a description of a woman who it appears would be quite adept with firearms. I'm sure it's just an oversight on your part, but maybe you missed the memo whereby I gave the order that she be terminated at the earliest possible convenience. That's exactly what I was trying to do. I was trying to follow that order. Well, 
You've lost me. Because it would appear that not only was the order not followed, but that she was given an assignment upon which the very survival of this organization depends. We had a plan to uh, terminate her after she completed the sanction on McNamara. Seems to me you're missing the goddamn point, Mr. Dalton. My problem is that she was given the assignment in the first place. It was a 950-yard shot. No, she took out Janos Medovic in Sarajevo at 1,175. Uh, I didn't hear any complaints then. I picked the best person for the job. Let's not horse it around. I think we both know why you picked her. Find her. Before the police do. I'd like to keep this in the family. McNamara, contingency plan. Well, we have surveillance following him out to his ex-wife's house in Laguna. Should take him about an hour to get there. Hour and a half to get back. And as soon as he gets there, we're going to take him out. Then we'll go inside and clean up everything. Computer disks, paperwork. And uh, it'll all be taken care of. All right, let's uh, try not to fuck this one up, shall we? You are going to change that shirt, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We got one Colt M4 carbine, 223 caliber, 9 inch barrel. One six hour P229, 40 caliber Smith and Wesson. Optical sight on the M4, tritium night sight on the SIG. Chambers, throated, ramped, and polished. Nice work. Four pound trigger? Come on. One polymer dagger, razor sharp, undetectable by conventional x ray scanners. Okay. Four extra mags, a thousand rounds of frangible ammunition for each. Armor piercing for the 223 and subsonic for the 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. All right, now this ought to keep you out of trouble, although I doubt that's possible. Okay, passports, not one, but three. Credit cards to match. Platinum. Come on, now I run a professional operation here. Plane tickets. I gotta get you new ones, okay? Because these got you going through Mexico. And you remember what happened the last time we were in Mexico, all right? I'm not going anywhere. Oh. See, I guess I had it all wrong. I thought the idea was to disappear, you know, live happily ever after. It was, but it's not now. This is why you can't keep a man, all right? Half of this stuff here will intimidate the crap out of your average guy, all right? Make him think twice about making a move on you. Maybe even three or four times. You'd be surprised. Why are you doing this? It's just some things you can't run away from. All right, look. I got you this stuff so you can get out of this, all right? Disappear. They can't trace you. It's clean. You go back in there, you're gonna die. I died a long time ago. And a hundred times since. First Edlin, now McNamara, and I just gotta make it stop. So what are you gonna do? Well, Dalton's gonna move in on this guy today. I just gotta get there first. Mr. Dalton. Yeah. He's checking his messages through his cell phone. One message. Hey, dude. It's Pat Nato, your brick face producer calling. Having a nice day? Well, I'm gonna fucking ruin it. Look, I need something on the other story by first thing tomorrow. Call if you have a problem. God damn right there's a problem. He's calling his producer now. Now, see if he can jam it. 
You demand, sir. Consider it done. Mr. Pandora will be with you in just a moment. He just called me. It's okay. You, you can break into the meeting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are having technical difficulties. The trouble is not in your set. Hello? Hello? Sir, are you there? Ah, oh, shit. That's it. I'm going digital. That's him. He's coming in. Hi there, are you Jordan McNamara? Yeah, and you are? Special Agent Richards, FBI. Well, what can I do for you? Well, you can drop the weapon for one. <laughs> Makes me nervous. <laughs> it's my daughter's. I should hope so, you look a little old for that. So, uh, what? Uh... It's pretty routine, actually. We need to ask you a few questions uh, about the Edlin matter. We need you to come down to the office with us. What about Edlin? Uh, we'll get into that down at the office, if you'll just come with us. Am I under arrest? No, no, nothing like that. It's a few questions and uh, I'll get you right back here. Uh, listen, I can't answer any questions on that story without the advice of a network attorney. I understand. You want to make a phone call? Have him come down and join us. Okay, just to be a second. He didn't bite. Come on in. Excuse me. If you want to live, you'll come with me. Who are you? I'm the fucking Tooth Fairy, come on! You just killed two FBI agents. They're not FBI and they were here to kill you. Look, I got about 30 seconds. How do I know you're not here to do the same thing? Because you're still alive, there's your first fucking clue. There's your second. Come on! Bait. Yeah, I taught her how to do that. We gotta do something. How's that, baby? Hey, honey. I tell you what. Why don't we make a deal? You complete the sanction on the newsboy, and uh, we'll go out and have a drink and call it a day. What do you think? Complete the sanction, does that mean? They're gonna try and flank us. We gotta get out of here. I'm not hearing nothing. I mean, that's a bad sign. Come on, honey. Let's be friends. Here, take this. What? Take it. There's a road across the railroad tracks about a mile that way. Black Canyon Road, yeah? Yeah. There's a blue pickup truck parked in the shoulder. Find it and wait for me. Are you kidding? They're shooting. I'll cover for you. Just get going. Jeez. Listen, I got this all figured out. You head for Black Canyon Road. She'll insert there. She'll be heading cross country looking for a vehicle.
drop it. Hands on the head. Turn around. This is gonna be fun. That was for me, you fucking bitch. And this one's for Frank. I'll tell Dalton what a good job you did. I told you to head for the road. You weren't avoiding me, were you? No. Good. I'll have that pistol back. Shall we? Wait, who are you? What is going on here? I used to work for the government. The government? Let me guess. Postal service. Come on. CIA? Why do they want you dead? They who? I'll get to that. You know something that they're afraid of. What is it? I... <laughs> this is getting surreal. Look, I can't help you if I don't know why they want you dead, so... I... Well, you've done a great job helping so far. I mean, just this morning I was saying, you know, I haven't been shot at enough lately. Really got to do something about that. Didn't look that way to me. What? What are you talking about? The beach, this morning, with your daughter. What? What are you talking about? The man back there, he didn't look familiar? Why should he? That's right. He was there to kill me? With my daughter? He was there as a spotter for a sniper. How do you know? <sighs> There's a road, come on. We're in luck. Thought that was your truck back there. It was. So who, whose is this then? I don't know, probably some hikers. You gonna answer my question? Until this morning, I used to work for the people that are after you. And who are they? An elite CT unit. Ultra black, called Alpha Section. CT? Counter-terrorist? What are you doing? We need a car. Excuse me. Someone's gonna hear this. Call the police. Hold that. You always call 911 when you hear a car alarm go off? What did you do with this CT unit? I was a specialist in executive operations. You're an assassin. Jesus Christ. You didn't shoot me. What stopped you? Get in the goddamn car. No, I'm not getting in the car with a gun. Listen very well, do you? Shit!
Yeah, this is Dalton here. Go ahead, Dalton. I need an air unit. Copy that. Got a 20? Black Canyon. This is not happening. Denial. That's a good sign. Healthy. This is about the Thomas Adelin murder. He was killed for what he knew about the Army helicopter incident in Arizona. Is that it? Edlin knew something? Last summer, the Army helicopters that were shot down by a supposed militia group. Edlin headed the Army investigation. Noticed strange things happening from the day he was assigned to the case. Strange? He came across evidence that it may have been a government cover-up. What kind of evidence? Key pieces of the wreckage that had been logged in just disappeared. So he went back out to the crash site. He found a piece of the so-called militia chopper that he could ID. That chopper had been delivered back in 1985, straight from the factory, to a company called Trident Limited International, about which I've been able to find out exactly zero. Now, the FAA records show that this chopper crashed in 1994, after it was sold to a guy with associations to an Arizona militia group. But this guy had been killed later in an ATF raid that went awry, so he couldn't be questioned. It's convenient and just a little strange. Now, when you mention Trident International, nothing sounds strange. You know who they are. They're the front for Alpha section. So Edlund, he, uh, he was forced off the case? Technically, he quit. Just before he went to his superiors with his evidence, he was visited by a group of men who said that if he and his family wanted to continue to enjoy good health, he should stick to evidence that pointed to militia involvement. Domestic terrorism was their phrase. So that's the game. The game? Domestic terrorism. Alpha's operations overseas have been virtually shut down. All wet ops have been suspended. Assassination, you talk about. It's like ordering television not to run commercials. So we've changed our focus to domestic terrorism. That's the FBI's turf. Exactly. It's a pretty choice piece. They're trying to show that the FBI can't handle it alone. So they created a threat where there was none. So Alpha Section, a U.S. government agency, killed American soldiers to justify their existence and then killed another soldier just to cover it up? Welcome to the intelligence community. Who is it? It's us. What the hell happened? I was getting worried. Piece of cake. Even brought you a new car. And what happened to the old one? You don't want to know. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> well, since you're going to be so rude as to not introduce us, I'm Marcus. Jordan McNamara. As seen on TV. It's nice to meet you and all, but you gotta forgive me. I don't watch a lot of TV. I feel it's the bland. Leading the bland. I've heard them all, believe me. Hey, what's this? It's nice. Oh, that's something I'm work. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Put it on. Thanks, Kenny. Hook it up. Never realized how important the proper jewelry was in your line of work. This is no ordinary piece of jewelry, Mr. McNamara. Now, wave to the lady. Fiber optic cables, micro transmitter, broadcast range a mile, picture and sound. What do you think? Works for me. Works for you. Two hours ago, I was fucking fabulous. It's been a long day. Ask him. It has, Dad. Well, I haven't been exactly here eating bonbons, you know. Listen, you know what? I wanted to ask you a question. Could I? She wants to ask me a favor. She, wa she wants to ask me a favor. I just wanted to know if I could use a shower. That's all. Okay? Oh, shit, baby. Mi casa es su casa. <laughs> okay. Thanks. And while you're at it, you should take a nap. Because you look like shit. You're always there with a kind word, aren't you? No, hon. I'm always here. Got that? The Invisible Man. This guy cracked in the Department of Defense, NORAD, Fujimoto Bank, I mean, not to mention the White House. You know him? 
No, let's just say I'm a fan. You know his name? No, hence the name The Invisible Man. Why? Oh, it... it I, I did a story on him, I mean, back before I became a rich and famous newsreader, but he's just a fascinating character. A lot of people thought so. Her ratings went to the roof on that story. Hey, that story was one gross inaccuracy after another. Thought you didn't watch TV. Well, you know, PBS and whatnot. I'm on double WZN. You know, I sometimes leave it on in the background. Come here for a second. Oh, gee. Now that is one hell of a woman. Take it off the daddy. Yeah, you should see that woman with the handgun. Oh, I have. Believe you me. Hmm. Damn. Oh, I guess you told me. Look, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get something to eat. What exactly do you do for, for her? Well, a woman in her line of work sometimes requires certain items that can't be found in stores. And uh, requires certain services that aren't in the yellow pages. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Pick. I don't like Chinese. Well, she does. So guess what? Kung Pao chicken. All right, what are you doing for her now? Okay, well, last week she came in and she wanted to become, shall we say, like the invisible man. She wants to disappear? That's right, and I made it possible. Wait, wait, wait. this was last week? Yeah, well, see, whatever happened that day, it made her one out. And the people she works for, you just can't give your two weeks notice and be on your merry way. It took a lot of planning. And now she wants to give it up all for your sorry ass. Hey, I didn't ask for her help. Yeah, but you certainly are glad you got it, aren't you? Tell them it's for their own protection. Tell them uh, there's been a threat on their lives, but don't touch anybody until you hear from me. Do you understand that? Okay, hold on. What the fuck is McNamara's wife? What's her maiden name? Um, Rose Daniels. The mother? Mm-hmm. Rose Daniels. Rose Daniels. Now, connect me. Hello, Rose. How old are you guys now? Twelve? Where's Marcus? He went to get Chinese food. Oh, that man's full of good ideas. He's a big fan of yours, too. What? Edeland. That was you, wasn't it? <sighs> it was a blind hit. They give me a call, a location. The minute I arrive, they give me a target. And that day, it just happened to be him. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Well, I guess I should be real happy you got an attack of conscience for my sanction. <sighs> You know, you can go fuck yourself. I didn't even know where he was until the next day. I saw the TV reports and the news. I even saw your piece on him. But I'm just never going to forget the look on his wife's face. It's just not what I got into this for. What did you get into it for? I thought it was better than being found dead of unknown causes. They threatened you? No, they have a more oblique way of saying it. They chose me. So you were just following orders, is that it? Fuck this. I'm not used to. You know, this this is all just a little over. I guess I just don't know how you handle this. Who says I do? 
Do you ever feel guilty? Every goddamn day. For a while there, I thought I was on the right side. And now? What changed? The director altered our mission. Instituted Directive 7. Well, what was that? Let's say it's stress preemption over retaliation. Meaning that they assassinated people who... Who were known to be involved with certain terrorist groups in places like Iraq, Syria, former Yugoslavia. But they hadn't actually done anything? Potentials. Isn't that outright murder? What would you need to break this story? Sort of an outright confession? I, uh, something solid to document. Uh, or someone from the inside who's willing to go on record. What do you think? I think we'd both be dead before you could turn on the cameras. I should have just kept running. Want to see me? I like your opinion, Mr. Dalton. On? On who should be your replacement? Uh, this is all going to be over in a couple of hours. You know, I walked in this morning thinking the same thing. Funny how things have a way of turning out. Listen, this uh, McNamara, he's going to lead us uh, right to her. And uh, it's only a matter of time before he checks in. And if he should decline? Well, he's a very reasonable man. And uh, I think he'll do the right thing. Boy, I'd really like to see this behind us, Mr. Dalton. You know, I would have never agreed to have done this if I didn't know how many buildings there were in county records. Well, I have confidence in you if that means anything. Doesn't mean shit. Listen, I need to call New York. Can I use your phone to do that? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. No, hold it. No calls. Well, this one here is secure. Have another dumpling, my dumpling. Let the man make his call. You just got to show him who's the boss. Can I have some privacy someplace? In the bathroom. Yeah, there's a lot of privacy there. Uh, let's, I'll just go out here. Dumpling? Okay, here we go. 5203 Argyle. Look, I don't want to sound negative or anything like that, but there's no way they're just going to let you waltz through the front door. Right, but that's exactly what we're going to do. What are you looking for? A wet wall. How can you tell from a drawing? Tell what? The wall's wet. Because I can... I, I'm playing. I'm joking. Okay, look, you, you're all uptight and shit. Oh, hey, Rose. It's, it's, it's Jordan. Now, I just call her to make sure she got in, okay? What do you mean? Look, there's also a crawl space between the steel joists here uh, between the first floor and the basement. And it looks like I'll have about 16 inches between the walls and 24 between the joists. Shit. You have 10 inches right now if you just want to go back. Oh! <coughs> that hurt. Yeah, it was supposed to. Dalton has my daughter. Damn it, this is my child we're talking about. I'm going to do whatever he wants. You're already doing it. You're panicking. And when you panic, he controls the game. Game? This may be a game to you, but it's a little more than that to me. Well, it's a game to him. And if we don't play, you're never going to see your daughter again. You're going to talk to Dalton, but after Marcus and I do the finishing touches on our plan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now Marcus is in on it? You've always been in on it. 
Look, why don't you get a book or something, go outside. We've got work to do, all right? If I'm going to be involved in this, don't you think I should know the, the details of this little plan? To... No, you can't. I'll explain it later. No, you'll explain now. Hey, maybe you should, you know, because... You're going to go talk to Dalton. He's going to take you to the shitty little storage room at Alpha's field office. He's going to tie you to a chair, and he's going to use one of several techniques to try and get as much information out of you as he wants, including our plan. This is just great. So, so I'm just going to walk into the lion's den with no assurance that I'll walk out again. You're just going to have to trust me. Trust you? You know, you work for an agency that lies as a matter of policy. But I have to trust you. Look, the way I see it is you don't have much of a choice. But if you have any ideas, I'm all ears. I need to catch up on my reading anyway. You mind telling me the plan, Your Highness? Yeah, it's Dalton. Where's my daughter? Oh, I'm not so sure I like that tone. Where is she? Oh, well, there you go again. You know, uh, do you mind if I call you by your first name? It's Jordan, I believe. Hello? I'm here. Oh, I thought maybe you hung up. You know, you're really in no position to make any demands from me. I mean, this isn't your silly television show, okay? You'd get a lot farther with me if you'd speak nicer, you know. Use words like, uh... Sweetheart, don't be coy. I know you're there, and I know you're listening. I know you're watching that secondhand tick. I, I don't even need to trace the call because I know where you are. I want you both here in one hour. And if you're not, I'm going to call that snobby little preschool, and I'm going to tell them that there's an opening on their waiting list. Next semester. Eight seconds left. Not bad, huh? Two hundred three Argyle. Alpha Section's field office is in the basement. You can tell from the outside they let life go on as usual. That way nobody notices them. Show up at the desk. They'll take it from there. <laughs> Looking for Mr. Dalton. Good for you. It's almost there, you made it. Are you? Is he here? Excuse me, I'm on the phone. McNamara. Come with me, please. Please. Come with me. There seems to be one less person than I expected. Where's my daughter? Well, first things first. Where's our friend? She wouldn't come. Uh, you know, you see, that's just like her. She's hard-headed and selfish. And she has no idea the effect that her actions have on the emotions of other people. How do you like our little complex here? I'll give you my opinion when I see my daughter. You know, I'm surprised that the... Uh, Aggressive tone of voice you have there, considering your situation. Have you seen the moon this evening? Yeah, why? It was a nice moon. But you're not likely to see it again for quite some time. 
Why don't you escort Mr. McNamara to his room and I'm gonna go find Lester and I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Mr. McNamara, please. Right this way. Please. I just want you to know that this is stereotyping of the worst kind. Silly. <laughs> Believe you me, I'm thinking about it. Relax, Marcus. Play the part and have some fun. I'm here. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, this bitch is holding out on me, so I need a room so I can take it out and trade. 25 an hour. In advance. 25 an hour? Nigga, that's highway robbery. 25. Take it or leave it. Mm, well, maybe we could come to a little agreement. You know, you come up in about an hour. I'll let you test drive this little baby. <laughs> Um, sir, is 303 available? Yes. It's on the right side as you come up the stairs. Thank you. You're an angel. Damn it, woman, that shit hurt. Ow! You told me to have fun, right? I haven't had much fun. Sure, this is gonna work. Yeah, it's gonna work. On contact, just remember, don't touch it with your fingers. It's a lethal nerve toxin. Completely fuck up your day. Mm, women in power tools. <laughs> Turn up the radio. We need something to cover up the noise. Turn it up. That is up. All the way. That is all the way. And then jump on the bed. What? Jump on the bed. You're supposed to be here taking it out in trade, so why don't you act like you're really giving it to me? Shit, that's all you have to say. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that, right? Are you going to help me out with what? Oh, yeah. Help me alone. Yeah. Help me alone. No, you're not. Don't step. Don't step. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Little bit of doggy step. Doggy step. Get it, doggy step. Doggy step. Yeah, you know I want to. Oh, my God. 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 Sorry. Listen, give me the harness and the tool bag. Don't you want to hold me for a while? Just be a minute. How's it look down there? I'm almost to the crawl space, just a couple more feet. Space. And hook in the harness now. You got it. Hey, Jordo. It's my friend, Lester. How you doing? 
We go way back, me and him. Yeah, maybe too far. So your friend here beats the crap out of me until I tell you what you want to know. No. That's my job. I'm opposed to violence. That's true. Actually, uh, he's a chemist. Have you ever done any drugs? Oh, occasionally. Smoked a joint, you know, once in a blue moon. I even inhaled. I just want you to know, between me and you, this ain't personal. I think your show is one of the most thought provoking forms on the air at this time. In about three minutes, you're gonna feel really good. So good, in fact, that you're gonna tell me everything that I wanna know, including whatever in the hell is a blue moon. like a charm. See, I told you it would. Now, what's the lesson we've learned here today? <sighs> Marcus is always right. Hey, there you go. All right, I'm going in. All right, talk to me. How's the view? Spectacular. Yo, that's the ZF-99. I killed for one of those. Marcus, would you just get me in so I can get the hell out? Uh, right, um, okay. All right, first things first is to load the disc I gave you. And then? Oh, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. You know, I just got to say that, that you're being a lot less than cooperative here. I'm doing the best I can. Always do your very best. That's what I'm doing. Well, you know, your best just ain't getting there from me, my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you again. One more time. Where is she? She didn't tell me anything. Ah, oh, Jordan. What am I gonna do with you? Getting ready to give you a smack. Hey man, let's learn some patience. Violence don't help you accomplish anything. All right, here it is, Directive 7. All right, get the helicopter file and let's go. Looking for it. Wait. Uh, he doesn't know nothing. He knows enough. Get Lester back in here. Well, you know what Lester feels about blood. Go get him! Okay, okay. Marcus. This is it. You got it? Yeah, I do. Jesus, this is incredible. Yeah, it is. Look, 
Let's get you out of there and worry about this later. I'm dropping a red flag in the system. Hey. You want to see your daughter again, I presume. That'd be good for everyone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What's her name again? Bailey. Bailey, right, yeah. I'm getting a little tired of you. Lester here is going to give you another shot. But this one's kind of different. It's going to mess up your brain really bad. So bad that you won't recognize anybody, no matter who they are. You might not even recognize yourself in the mirror. Pullman here. You're kidding me. We have a security breach in the computer room. Let's go. Give him the shot. Did you do that? Lester never hurt anybody. Get him out of here. Get him out. Bring the old man back. Put your hands on your head. Do it. Oh. That's better. You look marvelous. Well, that's cute. You know, you should have stuck with me and everything would have been all right. Well, let's see who you're listening to. Hmm. What have you got for me? Did she tell you that she almost killed you? Did, did you tell him that? He knows. I'm almost sorry that you didn't get away. I bet. It would have been nice knowing that you were out there somewhere. Like you'd have just left me out there. I'd like to think that you would have done the same for me. Please don't anybody get up. Mr. McNamara, huge fan. Sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. You know, I'm just your average John Q. public, but it seems to me that you would have been better served to stick with stories about supermarkets and tainted beef. But what do I know? And you, my little pretty. Taxpayers have racked up a pretty good bill training you. Whatever gave you the idea that you could take early retirement? How about the four men you sent out as a pink slip this morning? Ah, down 
downsizing. Fact of life in the 90s. What have you done with my daughter? You see, that's the problem with you brethren of the media. You always think you're entitled to have all the information. That six-year-old child has nothing to do with this. Well, you got me there. She's safe. She's in a hotel by JFK, the Cosmopolitan. Very nice suite. Any further questions? Is there a big chance for your last interview, McNamara? What? Y yeah, I, I, I have a question. Why are you killing me? I mean, just before I die, would you just tell me why? Why any of this? I mean, Thomas Edel. Why would you kill Thomas Edel? Oh, I didn't kill him. She did. On your orders. Come on, just please. He had little knowledge. That's a dangerous thing. Meaning, I suppose, that he knew about the attack on the army helicopters that you staged in Arizona? Something like that. Why would you kill American soldiers? Why? You know, this probably comes as no surprise to a journalist of your caliber, but there seems to be a growing concern in this country against domestic terrorism. You know, anthrax scares, militia groups, World Trade Center, Oklahoma City bombings, things of that nature. We thought we could use these threats to our advantage. That these types of incidents, as tragic as they really are, would serve to bolster the public outcry, which would in turn get our funding back up to the level where it should be. And all you had to do was kill innocent people. Well, if a couple of people have to die, it's... Home here. Look at this. Wait, please. We're in the middle of something. Many brave men and women have given their lives to a country who has turned its back on them. I just couldn't sit by and let that continue to happen. Well, you know, you're worse than anyone you claim to be fighting. Oh, really? And have you ever looked a terrorist in the eye, Mr. McNamara? I have now. Oh, don't kid yourself. Bring down a couple of choppers, snuff out a nosy fanatic that doesn't put me in the league with a hezbollah excuse me sir i'm sorry to interrupt what that was just media surveillance they suggested that we turn on the television wwzn yes sir And so, from the basement of 5203 Argyle street headquarters of alpha section a rogue counter-terrorist agency of the united states government This is Jordan McNamara, reporting live. Mr. Holdman. Yes, sir. May I please have your side on? Please make sure a car is standing by for Mr. Dalton and myself. Yes, sir. This is your own doing. Congratulations. Shoot her! Hold your fire. Shoot her! Hold your fire! Shoot her! You really want to die for these guys? I don't think they give a shit about you.
my car. It's waiting outside, sir. What the hell's going on? What do you think? I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time. Why don't you come out where I can see you? You know, I can't believe you did what you did. I must say, I didn't think you had it in you. No? damn time you woke up so <coughs> how long have you been here long enough to know that that chair over there was not designed for comfort <laughs> so, where is uh... no i wouldn't even tell you even if i did know <laughs> but you know yeah i do still not gonna tell you So, question, mm. the broadcast, how? Easy, live feed. Yeah, but how did you get it past my producer? Well, your producer had no choice. I interrupted his regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> <clears throat> so, the invisible man strikes again. Um... I knew it last night. You know, it's still kind of hard to believe, though. What the hell did you expect? Some pimple-faced white boy with Coke bottle glasses and a pocket protector? Yeah. <laughs> so thanks. What? For allowing me to be a reporter again. Oh, I seem to remember it being a whole lot easier than this. Where will she go? Man. Don't make me have to hurt you. Just not on the left side, okay? <laughs> Tell me something. What's up? How'd you break into the White House computer? Simple. I said I was Al Gore. <laughs> 